Apple has officially released a public beta version of their new iOS 16 software and we have to talk about it. I've been using the new iOS 16 beta for a few days now and throughout this video I'll be listing some of my favorite features added to the iPhone. So if you would like to know what the features are, you should probably watch until the end of the video to find out. Hi if you're new here, I'm Destin Tech and on this channel I focus mainly on tech reviews, unboxings, and consumer electronic tips to make purchasing easier for you. In this video, I'll be telling you guys about my experiences since downloading an iOS 16 beta when it released. I will also be listing all of my favorite features from iOS 16 as well. If you like Apple Tech content like this, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos similar to this one. First starting off with the overall functionality of iOS 16. Even though it's a beta version, it didn't seem buggy at all. But right after updating, there was a temporary issue with my airdrop, but it went away after 20 minutes or so. It wasn't really that serious, just thought I'd mention it. To be a beta version of a major iOS software, I'm pretty surprised that I didn't get any bug issues. But I never normally have issues with Apple's beta updates. Now moving on to the features that I've been enjoying the most with iOS 16. First starting with one of the ones everybody's super hyped about, which is the edit and unsend message feature. I'm really a big fan of this feature, it works perfectly. If you've ever used the unsend feature on Instagram, it's very similar to that one. Keep in mind that if you decide to download the beta and are capable of using these features, the changes made to the message only reflects if the person that you're texting is on iOS 16 as well. If they aren't on iOS 16, they'll see the original message you sent as well as the new message you sent. The second feature that I've really been enjoying is the new focus feature within your apps. The feature gives you the ability to filter out specific content that you see in your apps depending on whatever focus you're in. It's really helpful in the mail app and that's where I've been using it to filter out shopping websites I'm subscribed to and emails I don't need to see at the moment. The next feature is something I haven't really used but it's something I think is really cool you're able to do which is the new feature where you're able to lift a subject from the background of a photo. With this feature, you can select the object in the photo, lift it from the background, and copy and paste or share any way you like. It's not something I could see myself using often, but it is a very fun feature to be able to use. The very last feature, which is certainly not least, is the updated lock screen with customization. Apple had me blown away by how perfectly they were able to execute this feature. I already designed all of my different lock screens and home screen pairs. I also really love that you're able to change the times fonts on your lock screen as well. And your notifications are now at the bottom of the screen out of the way. They can now be in count list or stack formation. This may be one of Apple's best features for iOS 16 in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about the iOS 16 beta update. If you've installed iOS 16, comment some of your favorite features below. Also, let me know of any other Apple tech content you would like to see from me. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future tech content like this. You just watched the Destin Tech video and I'll see you in the next video.